Hello, everybody, and welcome to another co-op Let's Play. For those of you who are not familiar with what Wilder Myth is, it is a fantasy RPG uh, game where up to five players can be in a party. You build up your characters based on classes, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of really interesting mechanics on how you create your characters, you can define a lot about their personalities, you can even define things like rom romantically who you're interested in, um, male, female, anything in between, or nothing, uh, which I think is really cool. Um, and there's a, there's a system where um, your character uh, doesn't necessarily stay as your character um, forever. Uh, they there is a retirement age. They can have children, and those children could then adventure um, for their parents once they end up not being able to adventure. So, yeah, a lot a lot of things are going on. I didn't read up a ton about it, other than realizing, hey, this is going to be a really neat experience to try out and just discover as we go. So. Uh, before we start diving into the playthrough, I wanted a chance to allow all of you viewers to meet uh, the players of this campaign. So if you all can go around and tell us who you are, where you're from, and where the viewers may have seen you in my channel before. And then finally, uh, your class that you would like to play and why. Uh, my name's Samantha. Um, I'm located in Maryland, which is on the East Coast. Uh, you might have seen me from Dragon Age 2, Monster Prom, Gloomhaven. Um, for this game, I'm gonna, I decided to play uh, Mystic because I love magic. <laughs> and I was looking at the style of this game and it looks so interesting. And I really want to see how they implement it, the rules, what it looks like visually. So I'm really excited. So yeah, I, I picked Mystic. Yeah, the art style is really neat. It almost has a so kind of a comic book, Paper Mario yeah. sort of like yeah. feel for it, you know? Cool. Aren't the uh, characters like flat planes too? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. so too. And and when they're, I think when they're on the map, they they kind of, you know, they animate like a cross between, <laughs> it's like a cross between old school Final Fantasy and again, Paper Mario, which I think right. is, has, has a bit of a charm. <laughs> Hi everybody, uh, I'm Logan or Lucky Jack Twenty. Um, I've been a regular uh, in uh, co-op projects on this channel before, uh, as far as fantasy-oriented projects. Uh, that mainly started with the Dragon Age tabletop campaign that Angel Arts here hosted, and uh, I'm going to be. Uh, I chose the Hunter as the class I wanted to like focus on. Um, I liked the idea of human. Uh, I, like, I like the idea of playing ranged combat, humorous sort of antics, being able to scout ahead and like hopefully like lay down covering fire across like the whole map if possible. Um, this game, uh, I actually it was completely new to me until this co-op project was introduced. But looking into it, um, when I was growing up, I was a big fan of things like Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, Fire Emblem kind of games. This one seems to be a good mesh of the tactics of Final Fantasy mixed with the character building and um, relationships, like those mechanics from the more recent Fire Emblem games. So looking forward to seeing how that evolves. Yeah, I, I was very intrigued, especially by the relationships, because uh, you could form friendships, you could form romances with mm -hmm. the other characters, you could form rivals with the other characters, uh, oh. which I think is a really neat system. Um, and I assume there's pros and cons of all three, I think, if you develop that. So, Hello, hello. Uh, I'm Kevin. I'm from Maryland as well. Um, been in a bunch of different things. Divinity, uh, Gloomhaven, the more recent one, Dragon Age Season 2. Uh, There's a whole list of them that I've, you probably find me in. Uh, I am playing the warrior and uh, I mean, you know, someone's got to protect those squishies and uh, <laughs> you know, might as well be me. <laughs> keep the mystics, the mages in check. Yeah, keep the mages in check. Uh, you know, just 
just uh really playing into my role here as a templar <laughs> uh very nice <laughs> uh but i also want to like echo what everyone else said uh the legacy system seems really cool and i can't wait to play around with that and just try different builds uh i can't wait to break it <laughs> uh, yeah that's true yeah you can try it yeah yeah. Romance everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, my character is going to be a huge flirt, so if, I'm, I'm, pro I'm probably going to be the Zevron of the party, if you know what I'm talking about. So, <laughs> hi y'all. I'm I'm Ethan. You've probably almost never seen me before. I've only ever been in the Ready for Sona One. Thank you very much, Hark. I love that campaign. <laughs> <laughs> What game are we playing? So shameful. What game so I, shameful. Play? <laughs> I played, uh, what was that Dragon Wars name? Uh, Forest and Yellow uh, in those campaigns. And you, you might have heard me lurking around at the Discord every now and again. But um, uh, this is probably the first time you see me. Um, and, yeah, I'm actually a Midwesterner. I, I'm more North Midwesterner in Indiana. But I was also, like Logan, going to look at playing a hunter if I can. And why Hunter? Um, I always play magic characters. <laughs> um, so you want and, something new? Okay. Yes, <laughs> essentially. I've never tried like a ranger hunter sort of character before. And I don't know too much about the game. I did look a little bit into um, it before we started. But sure. I, I don't know almost anything other than Hunter's a yeah. little bit sneaky, a little bit. Probably more roguelike. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. And then again, for those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Angel Arts. Uh, if you this is your first time coming to my channel, I do a lot of RPG decision-based games, um, many of which also includes romances, because I also like to cater to um, LGBTQ plus themes in my gaming as well, for those of you who are interested in that too. Um, so I also tend to gravitate towards the casters. Um, more specifically, I really love healers. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to be a healer in this one. I think my character's personality can certainly be very healer-like. However, if Sam wants to be more of the healer support character, I can certainly be more offensive, like um, attacking AoE. So Samantha and I will talk on that and just determining what she wants to play, and I'm happy to adapt one way or another. So. We'll see how things go with that. I did actually, because I was curious uh, throughout this little <laughs> discussion, I did look up, I did figure out the pronunciation uh, for, of the game from the developers. They, uh. the, the developers, I guess in a comment a few years ago, they claimed that it is pronounced Wildermyth, like wilderness. Wildermyth. Oh, Wildermyth. Oh, okay. Wildermyth. Wildermyth. Not Wildermyth. Wildermyth. Yeah, it, that makes sense. Which, actually, with the Y there, I thought it was wild. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a wild. Got it. <laughs> Park, when you go over the edit, just every time we go Wildermyth. Yeah. Wildermyth. Exactly. Wildermyth. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give a sound bite. Wildermyth. Yeah. There we go. All right. I have to. I have to edit everybody's mouths so that it. I'll, I'll just like CGI everybody's lips to match. Wildermyth. <laughs> Wildermyth. Seamless. <laughs> Okay, cool. Thank you for correcting us. I'm sure we will botch that many times before oh, <laughs> before the the end. Um, cool. Anything else? I hope this uh, game is more forgiving than uh, Gloomhaven. Uh. Yeah, I am. I am curious about the difficulty. How how difficult this game is, it, especially because I heard that again. It the it is not uncommon for characters to to die as part of the as part of the mechanic of the game. So. We'll see how brutal it actually ends up being. Um, All right. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. From what I, what I see when you die, you get faced with a choice of permanently maim your character and take like a <laughs> penalty, mm. or you just kill your character in like a blaze of glory. <laughs> Dang. So Interesting. Okay. I hope there's like, that could be, <laughs> That's a neat. I like yes. that. Oh, by the end, <laughs> just rolling quest to quest. Like the Black Knight, that just yeah, yeah. <laughs> just the flesh wound. Oh, just the and flesh. and later characters can be related to earlier characters that die. So, oh, so you, can, you can play yeah. as like the son of the right, the fair, first yeah, 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 right. I like that. I like All that. Right. I kind of feel like I want to be. Uh, 
an Xavier type character where I can't walk, but I can like still <laughs> mentally, <laughs> like mentally manipulate things. So that that'd, that'd be, cool. be kind of cool, being like a Professor X kind of thing. Cool. All right. Okay, mm -hmm. we can only do Age of Ulstrex. So for the viewers who are watching, um, the first campaign is three players only. And once we complete this campaign, I don't remember exactly how long it is. I think it actually could be three, maybe even as much as six hours long. It probably won't take us that long, but we'll see how long it takes. But once uh, the first campaign is over, it'll unlock... I think all these other um, campaigns that we can now um, do with five heroes. Yeah, multiplayer, five chapters, legacy, five chapters, unlocked after you complete the tutorial. So we'll, we'll figure this out <laughs> as we play. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to yeah. go ahead and click that and then go to next. Um, so we have different difficulties. Do we want to just go with the standard lands are dangerous but won't punish you too harshly so, yeah. for mistakes uh customize while we were that. oh interesting you can customize the difficulty so you could have different difficulties for combat versus overland overland oh. difficulty most controls the pace of calamities time pressure on the overland map and the frequency of infestation incursion huh it can end up having a big impact on combat difficulty too because of calamities all right that's interesting I'm sure we'll learn that. Carved in stone, all prog progress is auto-saved and game over is final. No retries, no reloads. I think for our first try, let's not... Just for our first try, let's Hard not do that. Right, that, that's not, yeah. right, that sounds like some sort of like Iron Man mode of like, yeah. you know, fully... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like give us a chance to at least try this game out and then to see <laughs> if... Yeah, and then we can... There's some mod stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, we can't change the main enemy yet but it looks like that's something that could be customized later maybe after you beat the game for the first time or meet beat the campaign for the first time okay so i'm gonna hit next okay so this is where we can uh build our party so i'm gonna be the mystic and it looks like the hunter is gonna be lucky jack and kevin will be our warrior um the, are you able to change your character on your own individual screens, or yes? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll see on mine. So cool. So I'm gonna go mine. ahead. Cool. Uh, I, and then like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll go ahead since the viewers can see my screen. I'll go ahead and walk through um, my character build really quickly, and then um, the other three, the other two can can share with us what how they're building their character. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and change my gender to male. My body type will be masculine. I I couldn't hear the voice ahead of time, unfortunately. Um, like there's masculine A, B, feminine A, B, but there isn't like a listen to the voice. So I'm just gonna arbitrarily pick B. Uh, I'm gonna go with Angelus because that tends to be my default name for my characters on my channel. Goldenborough is actually the last name of my very first D&D &D character ever. So, yeah. So I have a lot of sentimental attachment to that. Angelus uh, Goldenborough, I think, will be what I will use there. Um, I think I'm probably going to be, like, average height. My stature will probably be more on the narrow side allow random romances allow this hero to fall in love with another compatible hero over time <laughs> if unchecked specific events can still cause this hero to form romances okay interesting um allow random rivalries allow this hero to start a rivalry with another hero over time if unchecked specific events can still cause this hero to form rivalries and then allow children allow this hero to have children who can join the company between chapters so I think it's up to um, each person to decide how they want these characters to behave. I think I'm just going to go with the default, just because I don't know what the big difference is between the two. Um, I do like you can set set your attraction to men, women, or anyone. Um, so let me just go ahead and adjust my face real quick. 
I was debating on whether or not to make my character look like me or make him a ginger. <laughs> I, Ooh, feel, I feel like I have to make him a ginger, at least for this for this <laughs> playthrough. Um, so I'm going to do that. <clears throat> There's a lot of cool choices in here. Yeah. Oh yeah. And in terms of color, you can you can put in a hex, a hex code, for your color, which I think <gasps> is really nice. So you don't have to be beholden to the, the, the default palette. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. You mm -hmm. can be a Smurf. I've seen it. You can be a Smurf. Yes. You can make your yeah, skin like color. Yeah. Bright blue. <laughs> exactly. Oh my. That's funny. So I think that's really neat. So I am going to make. I'm going to make my character a little bit darker skin toned. Um, let's see. Can I give him? Okay, that's a good face. I kind of like that face. And then Lucky... Actually, Ethan, can you do me a favor since you're not controlling anyone? Can you look up yeah. the hex? I looked this up before, but I um, don't want to get off of my window. Can you check the hex code for the color orange, just straight up orange for me, please. Okay, orange hex code, nothing special. Yeah. Hex code, that will be FFA... FFA... 500. FFA 500. Thank you! All right. Orange is my favorite color. So, um, his primary is going to be orange. Purple is my second favorite color, so I think that will be a good set for him. I'm not crazy happy with his hair color. Can I make this a little bit redder? Yeah, a little bit redder. Maybe more, more of a bright red. I, I kind of like that. Ooh, I can give him scruff. Yeah, I'll give him scruff. I'm, I was debating <laughs> between the scruff the versus the, the or the goatee. I'm not a goatee. Actually, the goatee looks like it's hanging on by just some glue. Yeah, it's a little, <laughs> yeah. A, little, a, little a little shrubbery. That's true. It does look like it. <laughs> like for, like three three midgets in a trench coat, sort of. Yeah, on, I think I'm. Like, okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pick the other. It's not really a goatee, but it's more like a. I'm a more attached goatee. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, okay, so let me just make sure I have everything on this screen done. So, okay. Um, your stats are pretty much set in stone. However, your personality... This is the, this is the part of the game that I think is really interesting. You can um, arrange each of these personality traits in priority order. So I already picked out the... Um, where I'm gonna be at place everything so I, I think my character I just want to really want to play a character who's just super flirtatious so romantic is gonna be way up at the top but he also likes to be helpful so his secondary personality will be healer um, I also sort of see him very bardish in the sense that he can be a good leader so leader will be number three personality wise mm -hmm. I do want him to be a little bit snarky and have a sense of humor. So snark will be number four. Uh, goofball would then naturally be following after that. It feels like I'm building some some uh, character from The Sims, which I really like. Yeah. <laughs> um, coward actually comes next because at least for me, I wouldn't call myself the most courageous person in the world. I think I'm very bold, but I wouldn't call myself courageous compared to some of the other traits that are on here. Um, then I would put bookish next, and then poet, and then greedy is very, very far down. Hothead is far, far down, and loner is dead last because I think my character is very much an extrovert. So yeah, romantic, healer, leader, snark, Goofball, coward, bookish, poet, greedy, hothead, and loner in that order. Okay. And okay. then relationships. I don't have any relationships right now, but we'll develop them over the course of this career. History. Um, I had... 
I had something written down for his history, which I can... I th I'm assuming I can change this whenever. So I'm not going to get um, too caught up on my story. But for my um, edit text, it looks like these are the hooks. Uh, I thought mm. the ones that I'd be interested for my character would be creative. Mm -hmm. And then flirt, because obviously. Uh, but I do want him to have a decent integrity. So, there we go. So he'll be a... So his his full, I guess, hero title is Angelus Goldenborough, the Compassionate Romantic. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then anything else? Aspects? Okay. And then none of these aspects I can, I can change. Cool. And so based on all of my personality selections and my um, hooks, I've got... Uh, bonuses like plus 42 in upbringing, plus 15 customization and stories, charisma, tenacity, etc, etc. So, okay. I think I'm good with my character. So, um, who wants to... Is anyone ready to show their build? Their character build? Um, I'm, good. I'm good to show mine. Uh, snuff is a really weird sounding word that has probably been with me since high school. No one can really fully explain why, but it's just... It's it's been this odd thing I love to use as like a name like if you ever like have it, like oh name your save file in a game <laughs> I usually default to that okay. just for some reason okay it just worked for me so mm, take a drink anyway so Snuff Jackson uh, he is the um, standard just thought you know dark green dark brown trying to think of like mm -hmm. colors that help him blend into his surroundings Makes as a sense. hunter yeah. Um, as far as the stats are concerned, his personality, I went with bookish near the top. Mm. I think that he needs to be like well read about like the environment and like yeah. survi a survivalist kind of thing. Okay. Um, but uh, kind of, a, I also think he's a bit of a hothead. Mm -hmm. uh, very much the survivalist like knowledge gives him a little bit of an ego as mm -hmm. far as like like he he knows his stuff and will be t will take. Uh, opportunity, opportunities to remind you that he is aware, uh, to remind you that he knows what he's doing sure. uh, in terms of in the situational awareness. Um, I then put that kind of a healer and a leader, like mm -hmm. he although the ego is there, he does still uh, want to put the team's you know, the team's goals and stuff first. Mm -hmm. Like I put Greedy and Loner very much near the bottom of the list. Okay. Like he's not like going, no betrayals or mm -hmm. any sort of like things in the cards there okay uh so that together gave him the hot-headed intellectual title um as far as the history is concerned uh the hooks on the right okay. i put down again uh literary hmm. oh nice there you are i put again literary lucky kind of goes without saying <laughs> yes and uh <laughs> and loyal okay i think loyal i think loyalty is a huge like um, just in general in life, like I think loyalty is a, is a very strong like trait that I resonate with, so I went with that. Um, and then as far as aspects, um, looks like I looks like these are again kind of chosen for me. So yeah. for now, it looks like I'm a I am a farmer and I am alive, so that is yes. good. Yes, yes. <laughs> you are, that's very good. You're not an, you're not a vampire yet. Oh, so yes. <laughs> though I wouldn't be surprised in this game if you you know. If you might oh, I could see turn it. into certain things, that would be um, interesting. Yeah. Except, I believe that's my, uh, cool. that's my uh, little origin. I for love now. it. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, so you are a hot headed, you are Snuff Jackson, the hot headed intellectual. I like it. So this is Benjamin Howler. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. A He's a goofish poet i guess <laughs> okay uh, okay um okay. sure you know uh i i take that as like you know because i guess we're all farmers we all start out as farmers at least yeah so humlet okay um so you know he's got like dreams of like you know exploring his more creative side mm -hmm. uh but um yeah so like you know top personality traits okay uh poet goofball snarky romantic greedy you know all all kind of like okay like kind of like combining into each other mm -hmm. uh but more through like 
wanting him wanting to see like the beauty of the world and the beauty in things. Uh, sure. Um, but you know, he he still likes to have a lot of fun and yeah. uh, mess with people and and uh, but he has like aspirations to be to be someone more. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say. Per- uh, I don't. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead, Kevin. Go ahead. I was gonna, no, no, go I, ahead. I was gonna go say, ahead. personality-wise, he definitely is very different from Cedric, because I think Cedric's yeah, a lot yeah, more yeah, yeah. Uh, serious and brooding, and so I think it's interesting that you put goofball and snark up there. Is do I sense that his personality might be more inspired by your uh, monk character? I forgot. One hundred percent. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His half you're a halfling monk, right? In another campaign, halfling monk. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I think that'll be fun. Cool. Uh, go um, ahead, continue. I th- I oh, think your history. Uh, I guess history. Yeah. So I put physical. Mm-hmm. You know, farming. Mm-hmm. Tough job. Integrity. He stands by what okay. he, what he makes. Okay. Uh, and creative, kind of, to fill in that poet sure. kind of. Uh, that poet side of things. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Cool. But yeah, I, th- I think this is more just like him wanting to, like wanting more in life. Yeah. Awesome. Um, for Sam and Ethan, uh, do you have any thoughts or reactions for these characters? Do any of them seem particularly interesting? Are any of them like, do you find particularly curious about how they're gonna grow and develop throughout the adventure, stuff like that? Um, I first of all, I I really like how they set this up, like how you can make your mm-hmm. character. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought this I was agree. really cool to make it unique. Um, as far as like which character, I uh, they're all really cool. I the compassionate romantic just sounds adorable. <laughs> Hot-headed intellectual, amazing. And then the goofish poet. Did you guys read your guys' history stuff? The little, like, little yeah, mini oh, history. Yeah. <laughs> They're so funny. Benjamin wasn't born. Not if you asked him. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> yeah. I love the history. She's very but These are all real fun. <laughs> I have a feeling this party's going to get up to some shenanigans. <laughs> there's, there's not much I could say other than, like, like playing some very um, chaotic characters that I'm going to enjoy playing with later down the line. Uh, <laughs> if, if you want to, maybe we should read our our uh, backgrounds. I just wrote it um, just now, and I, I just kept it short and sweet. Oh. So the story of Angelus Goldenboro. Angelus is a major flirt with a heart, but loyal and true to his friends. He just wants to help his friends succeed in any way he can. A true team player who is hoping to find that special someone or some people to enjoy life together. So, um, how about you, Lucky Jack? You want to read your history? Oh, uh, mine, mine simply says, like, oh, when, when Snuff was growing up, the world seemed so vast and beautiful. In a glade one morning, he met a doe woman who showed him the secret of disappearing. <laughs> Villages unspoiled found protection under his vigilance. So it just seems like a... That was um, uh, that I I, did, I take no credit for that. That definitely seems it's oh, like auto generate. I'm sure. Oh um, okay. Oh, I didn't know if you changed it or not. But okay. <laughs> no, I I I, I kind of like I like the idea of being like like up until this grand adventure, he mm. basically like moonlighted mm. as the local neighborhood watch. Sure. Of the of of the of the valley or something. Do we need to write five page backstories <laughs> before we get? <laughs> You're welcome to it. I I think I wrote something. I was intending on cutting and copy and pasting it, but I can't find it, so I just did one really quickly. Um, Kevin, do you want to read your backstory? Because it's it's pretty entertaining. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, Benjamin wasn't born. Not if you asked him. And even if you did, well, he'd say nothing at all. <laughs> Employed through the the tough years tutoring the grubby mean children of an absent family he learned to live as much in his imagination as in reality he proved loyal to those he fought by and would never abandon them to face darkness alone that's cool i like that was that also generated kevin or did you write that yeah i love that yeah (laughs) 
No, you should take credit. Yeah, you should take credit. Uh, I was bored. That, that, that first line please. was me. The rest I was uh, generated. You, right. <laughs> that. Cool. Yeah. So far, I'm I'm very impressed by the character creation. It's it's not as involved as as D and D, but it just has enough to make you feel like you can really make a a truly Connected. unique. Yeah. Yeah. A truly unique character that uh, you can connect with for sure. Um, cool. Cool. All right. Um, ready to start and see how things kick off? Yeah. So. All right. Let's do it. Let's start. It takes a bit of time to put all this together. Get ready. Uh, so, Sam and Ethan, if you want to take turns being ro uh, narrator, you can. Uh, read along with leader. Oh, I guess. Does that mean you can read along? Oh, so I think if I tag this, then uh, whenever you uh, I see. Flip. progress through the story, I'll see it as yeah. well. That's That probably will help. So maybe, yeah, click on read along with leader just to make sure. Yep. All right. I'm the leader. Okay. Um, do, is anyone reading any text? Uh, not yet. Oh. I think I don't see any text. The, there it is. There you okay. go. Okay. Uh, where, there was I, there's room in it go ahead, for go ahead. another story i think it, yeah i think it was saying like there's another okay there's room yeah, in I think it, it i think story. i think it's like a picture book where like there'll be like sometimes oh. there'll be some pages sometimes there won't oh, be you know. okay, yeah okay okay these pop up and like tell story events it's really i see unique. okay so go ahead sam like room there's room okay. in it for not sorry go ahead it's cold i'm stuck here oh it's me okay oh it's okay. It's me. All right. Um, I'll write something a wanderer might find. And will he read it by the fire? And will he silently love me? Will he weep? <laughs> mm. I'm already seeing my personality. Priority is yeah. already. Oh, so great. That's amazing. I'll write something. I love that. I'll write something a wanderer might find. And will he read it by the fire? And will he silently love me? Will he weep? Hmm. Uh, maybe this is Lucky Jack because he's the hunter. Oh, maybe. Or, or I think it's still like the narrator, like like observing like the world or something, and then like it zooms in on us and like. Oh. I think so. I think this is still Sam. So oh. I think this is yeah. So that's I think still Sam. Oh, so this is still Sam. Oh, whoa, 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 back. Oh, whoa. oh back. Wait, I don't want to skip. Oh, what? What? I don't want to uh, skip the story. Nobody okay, look. Okay. Spoilers. Nobody look. Okay, I'm, I'm looking away. I'm looking away. Okay, okay, okay we're, now good, we're, we're good. Back. Now we're good. We're back. All right. We're back. My bad. So, so much for lead. Then... We're just we're trying to follow the leader, and he's leading us <laughs> down the wrong path. Okay, go ahead, Sam. Right. Yes, then this would be the beginning. Here in our one yandering country, hmm. Hmm. something in the woods is very strange. Hmm. It's daytime. It's morning. Day or time? Okay. Does anybody have a rooster sound effect? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Sam. Concerned with, <laughs> concerned only with idle questions and memories, a young man named Benjamin takes a seasoned road down the town to Stillscarn. Okay. Hmm. Okay. How many times have I walked this old road? The nostalgic animals, the human. Uh, call me to my true nature, then. Hmm. Breeze is light that day. Birds are timid. In fact, the whole world is taking a breath, ready to leap in the sea. I'm there already, huh? Here's the hard part. Getting... <laughs> rough... Out of bed. <laughs> that's me. That's Lucky Jack. I thought that was a real word for a second. No, I was like, no, what? No, 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 I hope no, not. Oh, that's, that's a game. I'd be marveled at how it was. Getting snuffed out of bed. <laughs> <That's Lucky Jack. laughs> out of bed <laughs> or worse, if I have to dislodge him from a book or. But then. That's smoke? Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fluttering flames roost among the far-off rooftops. Benjamin hurries towards town, thinking of Snarf, a young man who's known <laughs> since boyhood. Okay, okay, uh, so you already have some relationships there. Oh, oh. now you get to oh. choose. 
so I think yeah, I, this is the cool that part. This is smile in the first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so, uh, so I think this is Kevin's choice. Uh, whether he chooses rivalry, friendship, or romance. Uh, what shall you choose? I, I think we're friends right now. At least. Okay. Okay. Uh, looks like. He's <laughs> looks like he's starting <laughs> fires again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy <laughs> Ralph tell me it wasn't you this time I can explain everything <laughs> nice <laughs> alright alright oh. All right. here we go oh. 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 Ooh. that was such well, a fun that's, intro I, though yeah, I like cool. that it's kind of like in involving yeah. everyone like that that's nice cool alright moving hero has an action left um, and then if it's if it's green, if it's yellow, hero has no more actions. A hero can do a single move, which takes one action, or a double move, which takes both actions. All heroes get to take their turns in any order, and then all enemies take their turns. Okay. 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 So. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my god. That's so cute. The flames. Select the extinguished button. I'm Oh, oh, so, oh, oh okay, out your okay. fires. That's cool. <laughs> okay. That's neat. And you gotta... Okay. Oh, oh it's just yep. me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Looks like it's just you, you for now. You have to clean up the mess. The, uh, whoosh. <laughs> That's so cute and adorable. <laughs> oh, and now you must greet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a really cool like, it's sword so game funny. I feel. Uh-oh. Yeah, it feels like a really neat car. This house is still standing, at least. Snruff. Still, Karn is in flames. Are you in there? Uh oh. He doesn't know. <laughs> My dark, flammable <laughs> secret. So dramatic. <laughs> he doesn't know. You're the town arsonist. Uh, no. Oh my god. Set spoken like a Nuts. true non town arsonist. The door unlocks. Why is no one... Click. Hey, do you not smell the... I smell the smoke. Get inside. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> let's not be... Let's not, be, let's not pander about the obvious here. Whoa. Huh? Oh. Wait, what happened? What just happened? Did he just take... I... Did he just take your bow from your back? He jumped inside and he grabbed a bow. Oh, he grabbed a bow. Okay. Oh, my. Slam. Slam. Nice. Uh, your bow? Yeah, my bow. The blaze is secondary. It's Doom's detail. A herd of these hideous, afflicted looking beasts. <laughs> oh, my. oh, scary. Hunting. Oh my god. <laughs> I stampeded in. I managed to trap one behind the house. Small victory. Oh. <gasps> Staying in here isn't really an option. Right. So, here. I've got some tools around. You're stronger than I am. You can swing something pretty good. I bet we can at least drive it off. <laughs> oh, a choice. Oh, that's another Benjamin another choice. Another Benjamin choice. Ooh. Um, <laughs> I don't know what this thing looks like. <laughs> definitely going to want to keep it at arm's length. All right. Nice. I would it have a frying pan. <laughs> could be killed, right? If it bleeds. Now, if we're steady <laughs> and methodical, we can manage it. Thing can't be invincible. Just don't take any dumb risks. Okay. Dumb risks. Faux cards, dumb. a row. Hooves thrown sloppily around beneath it. It runs staggering, bellowing its agony. Okay. Woo. Uh, right. Sure, the mission looks like kill the beast. So, um, cool. Okay, so I will, I guess, head to the door. Yeah. Oh, there's more fire. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna head out yonder. Oh, oh there it there is. It is. Uh, walling. Oh, it's moving. Reduced, uh, walling reduced damage. Stand adjacent to an ally to wall with them. Walling reduces incoming damage by one and does not stack. Interesting. Ah. Okay. Okay. Ah. Ah. Oh, nice. dang, well, you just... Oh, okay. All right. Okay, oh, there we go. Well, well done. Right. Victory. Got him. Victory is got ours. XP. Nice. Cool. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. Oh. Benjamin Howler is now a Greenhorn Warrior. Choose an ability. 
Warriors like Benjamin mm. are built hardy, enduring, with a natural aptitude for battle. They develop powerful techniques for close combat. Um, hmm. Hmm, okay. Well. And here's where the replayability yeah. comes in. Yeah, no, I'm... Because all right. You can... Uh, these aren't all the abilities. It just gives you three. Right. To choose from. What's the yeah. uh, reroll 2 LP? Um... I um, legend know. points, I believe they're called. Yeah, yeah legacy like points here. Yeah. Legacy. Oh, I think. Yeah, yeah I think I you earn them as you play the game, and you can spend okay. them. They are a limited commodity, so you can spend them to, I guess, give you more options. So maybe these abilities okay. are random, and you can reroll right. by spending yeah. legacy points. Oh, okay. That's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, which uh, shall you choose? Oh, these are all pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so it depends on what play style you want to mm. go after. I think I'm going to go for like some mobility. Get me I like, like mobility. Ooh. Good. Ah, mm. I have run stronger. Surviving their stealth and hunters like Snuff thrive in the wild, surviving through stealth and peerless archery. They master the surroundings and bring down large quarry. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, Quilling Moss, Surface Coast, Women, Quilling Moss, Melee Range, Tech, Applied Poison, Quilling Strikes, Applied Hobbled, um, Fox Fight, as one speed, one per combat, this way, attack that does next two attacks against him. Hmm. That disables my passive, though. Okay. Um, I think I will go with. I'll go with Crippling Strikes. Okay. Mm. Nice. Oh! Ooh, Necklace of Attunement. Uh, adds I to wish... potency. What does potency do? Right, I wish I could tell what Oh, you can hover uh, over it. Um... Oh, damage added to interfusion attacks. Also factor into some abilities. Okay. Uh, I don't know. We could either we could t take it or we could get resources from just scrapping it. Interesting. Hmm. Uh... I declare rock, paper, scissors. No, I have Ethan... no idea like, who will get this. I have no idea. Ethan, can you look up what yeah. interfusion attacks is? If you want to search Wildermyth um... Wiki, what the interfusion attacks mean. Yeah, yeah. That would be great. You can, you can be our Hermione Granger. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm wondering if they're bound to you. Yeah, that's what I was right? thinking. If you pick it up, is it bound to you? Um, mystics interfuse oh, okay. with things. Mystics. Yeah, yeah. They... Mystics can interfuse with things and then manipulate those things to perform Interesting. their magic. The mystic can perform some action and or gain some benefit from the interfusion. The effects of interfusion depend on the object. Okay. I want... um, interfusion is the primary method human mystics use to perform magic. So, it looks like it's a mystic magic thing. So unless you guys want to save right. that for... Is it... No, Sam's the... Yeah. Other... Kevin, right? Kevin's the mystic? But he's not part what of the I, Yeah, what I... So unless you want to save it for a missing friend. Yeah, what I'm curious about is once, if you pick up an item, can you trade it with the other characters, or is it bound to you? I don't think um, that. I believe... Um, let's see. Oh, okay, so according to this, um, someone says that you can't since weapons and armor are saved to your character's mm, legacy you can't okay. um if once it go once it goes on someone it looks like you can't okay. trade it all right so it sounds like this is more useful to a caster a mystic so maybe you do want to salvage it mm. to hardwood if that's the case yeah because i don't think it's gonna be useful to either of us Sorry, just yet no problem oh good um, sure so yeah are you able yeah, yeah are you salvage able to click it, salvage then. oh Oh, I'll click that. If you don't need this, you can break it down. Uh, yes, salvage. There it goes. Did you see that thing? What could have wrought such a change? The creature's death is quiet. It seems to slip from life in a few stunned, hazy blinks. They'll spend a piece of the day getting the flames under control. The damage isn't as bad as it could have been. Townsfolk emerge from hiding to fight fires and clear debris. 
Some full of curiosity, others visibly haunted by what they've seen. Hmm. We should go. Angelus is alone. It's quite possible he needs our help. Angelus? He's at that ruined tower by now. Kind of an outsized hike, given our late start. Uh, maybe, but a later start won't help. Angelus will be waiting for us. What happened today could be happening everywhere, couldn't it? Something about that tower is just stuck in my mind. It's like when you get apple skin in your teeth. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Yeesh. Oh, that's so horrible. I know the sensation you describe. <laughs> I'm familiar oh. with this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, anyway I just think I just think we said we'd meet him we should uh, the tower is in the hills you've been there? yeah once actually looking at the tracks they come and they go that direction <sighs> Benjamin mm. and Snuff follow the pounded path of monstrous feet hoping for the best and dreading every other possibility. Ooh. Now it's oh, your choice. That's my, oh, my thing. Uh, just be real, okay? So we can only yell and go home and... <laughs> hmm. I think I'll go with friendship yeah. for now as well, yeah. Let him be alive, alive, yeah. and unhurt. Sure. A wordless while passes between them, but the quiet only heightens their worry. You've known... Angelus longer than I have. He's pretty capable. I feel like... Oh. Yeah, Angelus is a little too wide-eyed and trusting, maybe. But he doesn't often disappoint me, you know? Weird things do tend to happen around him, but I'd say he's probably up there now. Figuring things out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was, that was so cool. I'm, Go ahead. I'm, I'm I curious. Love their personality. That is neat. Yeah, I, I'm curious. Like with the with the character creator stuff at the beginning, I'm curious like how those changes would like affect the dialogue and like the like interactions between them, like the specific wordings and things. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, scouting. Uh, in order to find sites in the wilderness, heroes must scout the land, which takes time. Click on an unscouted tile to show the scout action. So it looks like. The Ever Meadows, is that the only thing we can select? I guess. I think yeah, so. everything else is impassable. You are. Yeah, the ocean cannot be crossed. So I Gray that. goat tops. So I select it. Mm -hmm. I see. So we select it, then we in the bottom select okay. scout. And we can select oh. a party to go there. Yeah. But, uh, okay. fair enough. Oh, so this is so this is interesting. We're like, if we do a big campaign, oh, so like might be able to have could, multiple parties at the same time. Right, right. Like the, between the five of us, we could split off right. like two and three or four, and what, like like in different like areas. Yeah, same. it feels like we can have multiple characters, you know, on standby that you can deploy. Right, okay. deploy to different. That's kind of neat. Yeah. I like that. Um, so mm -hmm. I guess you still can't pick me, right? Because you have to get to me. No, nope. I think we're gonna. We're yeah. going. Okay. To you, All right. All right. So let's go. Um, and then Ethan, if you want to be the narrator this time, you're welcome to be the narrator. The tower where Angela, uh, Angelus had arranged to meet Benjamin and Snruff, uh, Snruff <laughs> is a place he <laughs> often used to escape his boy. <laughs> He knows its rooms and floors so well. He could survive being chased through them. <coughs> and now I wait, I suppose. <coughs> oh no. Dust its feet as rain puddles in here. <coughs> alive is alive. Until that beast breaks through. Mm. What do you think, beast? Uh, that's 
Oh, the fish! Did I just trap one, and, and am I trying to like keep it as a pet? Yeah. It, well, <laughs> you just like, barricaded, you barricaded yeah. the entire <laughs> room from it. it. <laughs> Will my friend swoop in and save me, or am I not pretty enough? Oh. <laughs> 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 Huh. It's a picturesque old tower, perfect for plot twists. <laughs> There's an elven dignity in this uh, in the stones, and they stand for standing, though it seems they guard nothing. But as the old will tell you, precious things go overlooked in a room. What lodges amid the bones of failure is often the dream that drove it. That book? Why have I never... <laughs> Easy there. I guess you're wondering why I'm talking to myself, huh, beast? <laughs> I'm also wondering... Angelus bounds to pull it loose. Or bends to pull it loose. <gasps> <gasps> the book's this... heavier than the slender spine suggests. Roll credits. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Title drop. <laughs> Title... <laughs> Look at all this. It, it's, it's it's full, full of... of Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Um it's full of strange stories. The followers of folk long forgotten. Circles of the ancients? It is wild nonsense how a woodcutter can read the rings inside old trees to find the exact moment of a grove began calling itself the forest. Gift of the inscriptor? Proposes an unlikely legend. That one spider-limbed woman crafted all written languages. She trapped ants between vellum and pressed them so long and relentlessly that they became letters. The Still Scarn Dancer claims there once danced a woman in so many spinning circles that she stopped moving, and everything else began to turn instead. <laughs> Angelus uh, reaches the last word of the final tall tale. A few blank pages are left. This book. Something in him feels like it's coming loose, but he can't exactly tell what. There's room in it for another story. It's cold. I'm stuck here. No. Yeah, I think. Yes. It's so hard to tell. <laughs> yeah, I know. Especially because it's going backwards. For yeah, we know. Yeah, you know. Yeah, we're, we're, we've seen this part before. Like we, we've looped. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's then this would be the beginning. Here in our yandering country. Hey. Rights. Words are ready. Omens are formed in the fabric of everything. And he's beginning to recognize them now. Some are just misgivings. They've crept through his body like a sourceless aches one wakes with. Others are more substantial. Now they seem lightning plain, a promise of thunder. Bring the wild black. Woods where birds once bell. A hateful silence. Oh, I see tentacles. <laughs> oh, oh, we I getting eldritch. Oh. oh, we are getting Charms. eldritch. Oh, eldritch. Oh. <laughs> Pain lights Angelus' head. Oh, oh. Subsides. I made it to morning? He lowers his, his bleary eyes. His story lies before him in a luminous script. Empty pages have sprouted behind it. Hmm. 
Why do I feel powerful? Ooh. Interesting. He pulls the spoon from his pocket, <laughs> plus one spoon, or a staff. He slides a branch from the rubble. It's sturdy. It's a palm loving twist. Interesting. I feel like spoon is if you want to go wands. The spoon is oh, sort of like a wand. Yeah, yeah. Or I can go staff. Uh, slides a branch of the rubble, it's sturdy and has a palm loving twist. So. I just thought of the Matrix reference. Yeah. So, <laughs> my knee jerk reaction is to get a staff. However, the more I think about it, I'm a big foodie. And I don't know, I think there's just something really entertaining about casting spells from a spoon. So, yeah. I say go for it. Yeah, I say go for it. I mean. Uh, Benjamin didn't go for the for the frying pan, so I'll go for the spoon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. All right. He pulls he, he pulls the spoon from his pocket. Open wide, beast. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Soup's on. Soup's oh. on. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my. Oh, the rager. It charges without seeing. Misshapen tusks swinging wildly. Okay. Oh, I can attack scenery? Uh, spend wow. one action, deals damage to object and furniture. While the scenery is destroyed, the space becomes walkable. Okay, extinguish lamp, extinguish a nearby lamp. Interf okay, here's the interfuse. Uh, mingle the mystic's life energy with a blaze or piece of scenery. Interfuse, interfuse targets grant vision and be can use for future purposes. All right. So... Uh, use interfusion to kill from a distance. Okay. Um, there's a cabinet. There's a display case. Uh, interesting. And it looks like there's an item in the display case, I think. And then forge. Oh, I can forge. Oh. Interesting. There's a lot of options here. Okay. Cabinet. Was this like a puzzle? Maybe? I guess I'm gonna walk up here. Oh. <gasps> oh, <Okay>. wait. <laughs> Company has it, arrived. Uh, interfuse with an object, then use the object to attack. Use interfuse ability to connect with fire or scenery. Different types of scenery give different effects and abilities. Many of you, these let you use the scenery to damage enemies. Okay, so I guess I'll try to interfuse with. Uh, let's try, <laughs> let's try this workbench. And then, now what? The object you've interfused with has an, has an ability that you can use. Different kinds of objects do different things. Okay. Um. Ooh. So oh, now... so yours is barrage. You can throw tools at him. Yeah, so how do I actually use it? Oh, barrage, I see. Okay. Oh, it's nice. Oh, that's, that's cool. pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's, oh he's coming for me. All right. So now, uh, I guess, interfuse again. Uh, knives? Sure. <laughs> interfuse the oh, knives. Boy. Uh, yeah. No. Take oh. oh, he dodged it? Boo. Okay, but... Barricade told him that's good. The range five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's who's too far. Okay, Brazier. Okay. And then... Oh, I guess I can't strike with him. That has to be lit first. Oh, illuminate? Light an interfused lamp from a distance. Lit lamps are useful oh. for other interfusion abilities. Let's try that. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now. Ah. Ah. This restless fire is unleashed at a nearby tile. A steel fire. This is cool. Oh, I like yeah, that. Cool, That's yeah, so I like neat. I love objects. that. Yeah, right? I could totally yeah. be Xavier. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The cosmetics of this game are just so pretty. I love yeah. Style. Nice. Angelus Goldenbor is now Greenhorn Mystic. Okay, so here's my question to you, Sam. Like, since you you want to be a mystic, 
do you want to be more offensive? Do you want to be more defensive? Like, buff, debuff? Um, like, I, what are you thinking? I typically play, like, very supportive characters. And so, like, healing, I, I always play cleric. So if okay. you want to go offensive and go full Xavier, go for it. Okay, okay. Cool. Open mind. Angels can interfuse with one additional target, which actually is useful for both. That actually could be really useful for uh, uh, an offensive character. Ignite mm -hmm. once per turn as a single action and just pulls motes of heat out of the air and gathers them to a single point, creating an interfused blaze on a tile with debris. Okay. That could be cool too. Indignance. Angel's presence is charged against his foes, dealing one true damage to hostile creatures who enter adjacency with him for any reason. Okay, so that's a good defensive. Um, interesting. Uh, it's between Ignite and Open Mind. Um, with Debris. I'm just curious, like, how often am I going to run into Debris? That's my only mm -hmm. curiosity. And I, I feel like... Being able to interview with objects is just so fun and is a very mm -hmm. Xavier thing. So I think I'm going to go with open mind. It's, it's not right. great. I think that's a good story. Yeah, it's a good yeah. thing. Yeah. <gasps> so you know, oh, true oh. damage ignores armor. Oh, true damage. Okay. Okay. Cool. Grave pelt cloak. Uh, garish drapery for a confident pair of sh shoulders. Sure, I could go for some armor. Um, nice. Oh, wow. I actually am physically wearing it. That's cool. Hey, cool. Cool, claim. Cool. More monsters roam through ruined halls and rattle the rotten furniture. But Angelus moves quick, quietly, uh, sensing his way in the dark. Daylight lands on his wrist. Cool wind soothes his tired eyes. It's... Still the same world. He closes the tower door, gentle to make no noise. That was the mystic's art that I did. Right, tower? Where'd I get it from? Could it have just happened? Is it just one of those things? Things a man's born with that might blossom in his life when he needs them? Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. Plenty of heroes happen that way. I don't know who said that. <laughs> Somebody uh, uh, said. I'm gonna assume maybe uh, Angelus. Maybe. I'm, I'm, taking a, I'm taking a wild guess. Angelus? Take a wild guess. It will be useful if I figure it out, of course. Hopefully I'm not endangering anything. That oh you're yeah, right. cool. Thank goodness. Angelus! You all right there? Hey, Angelus, something happened? Hmm, yeah, um, I forgot you two were coming. I'm sorry, I just I just had the weirdest night and day and... Benjamin, I only barely made it. Yeah, see that smoke on the horizon? That's from the town. Yeah, that's still scorn. It burned? Or <laughs> <laughs> Things are different than they were. Mm. Yeah, well, I don't know if you've ever seen something quite like this. A monster? Sure we have. We slay monsters. I thought you were I thought you were farmers. I like that look. <laughs> Okay, well, I do magic now, apparently. Yay. Is that with the Sweet. cape? Or... Nice. Oh, well, that's cool. All right, now the whole all team right. is here. We're all here. Cool. I like that. I'm a little bummed I didn't get to have any any romance, rival, or friendship 